So here's something that you fathers got to understand. And if you're new to the channel, please, by all means, hit that like button and please subscribe to all my videos. You don't want to miss content. I post multiple videos daily uh, because I got so many platforms. I got my clients where I do my one-on-one -on -one consultations. I put pieces of that. I, um, I am uh, knee deep into this thing of helping fathers uh, understand their legal and constitutional rights with their children. Uh, more so than that, I am helping fathers understand women. The biggest issue that you have when you're trying to fight for custody is not the courts. It's the mindset of the woman, which is an excellent segue into what I'm going to say here today. Um, people, what you guys got to all understand is that a woman only communicate based on her narrative. They only communicate based on their feelings. They're excellent at hiding this. They are excellent at trying to make it appear as though the thing that they hate the most, they will inflict it on you. They will, um, th th their insecurities and their fears, they talk about them based on it's something that you don't want. Like women will try and make it uh, appear as though they are ready to go head first into a, a train wreck. All right. So when you hear or have you, if you ever been told that you only want custody so you don't have to pay child support, that is a woman that is trying to flip the script on a narrative of how she feels. Everyone and every other ethnic class a woman knows, every ethnic class, every, every, every ethnic class a woman should know that when you have a child, it is not about you anymore. It is now about the child. But when you are dealing with a woman that has an agenda of child support and the gain of it, they will try to say, well, you just don't want it. They'll try to flip the script and try to make it, it you appear as though, well, you should run head first into that train wreck. Now, child support is a train wreck. Y'all just keep not wanting to believe that. I'll do another video on that later on today. So instead of them saying, you know what? There is not one stat that shows that my child is better off with just me in his or her or their lives. There isn't one stat to show that. Now, in parallel, you will hear women uh, 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 brag about the fact and they will uh, 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 engage into conversation and stand firm and strong on, oh, there are more women working than men. Not and hide the fact that there are more women, so there should be more women working than men. They will hide. Uh, uh, they will uh, uh, gloat when they say statistics show that there are more women in college than men. Statistics show that there are women more women graduating from college than men. Statistics show that there are more women that are head of the household. They know how to embrace all these other statistics. But they cannot, under no circumstances, nor do they want to deal with the statistic that clearly shows that their actions train wreck. And they will sell it to you and you'll buy it. Yeah, you will shut up, boy, I order. You won't walk on by it. You will buy it. You need a one-on-one? -on -one? I'll leave that information below the video. Understand this about women. And you will understand that everything that they're saying is a Jedi mind trick. It is. I'll catch you guys on the next one.